this is the big day. I'm going to put the swirl filters in. Started the video earlier and it uh, crashed, so starting over again, but I've already got halfway, or not halfway, but <laughs> wish I was, part of the way through. So I'm going to take these swirl filters, and I've got those all fitted as much as I can, parts glued up and everything ready to go in. But what I'm doing is replacing these two plate filters and I've already started draining the water so you can see all the poo down at the bottom there so this is here where the water comes in and goes through those filters and here's the the mesh, mesh that I use to filter the solids out and then I stick them in here and uh, wash them out that goes down into that tank there and that tank there breaks down the solids and there's no oxygen going in there and then when that fills up that goes over to this next tank and then in here I have a sump that circulates the water and introduces air and helps break it down and then those when they get when that gets full it runs into here. I've got two tanks down here and that's what the nutrients pumped out into the grow beds and then that returns from there goes back into this tank here and it just repeats itself. Now the way my system is set up once I drain the solids out of the fish water that water goes into these tanks and is never put back into my fish tanks so it's completely separate so I can change the pH on that or add any kind of dosing that I need to and it won't affect my fish so alright I got that drained gotta pull those out cut those off get the new tanks in, replumb everything I'm trying to get all this done as quickly as possible because my fish water is not being circulated. I've got an air pump going in there but I uh, want to get that as quickly as possible so we'll continue. Okay well <laughs> finally got it in. Took me you know, about four hours to get uh, the water going again. No leaks so that's a good thing. Took out more water than I was expecting, so I had to pump some back in. Take some rainwater out of my tanks and put it in there. But it was colder than the fish tanks, so I'm gonna have to start a fire and heat up the water tonight. Yeah, temporary brace. <laughs> Make sure that's gonna stay. Still got to adjust my height on here and kind of work with that a little bit. They're both going out. Like they should. Still got to hook up the uh, hook up the drain part of it. I've just got that to right there, so I've got to take that all the way over to, to that two-inch pipe there, and that's what goes into my tank over here. And I have to do the same thing. I got to rehook up drain line from that heater tank so that I run over there and then tie it back in. So it's going. Everything's kind of stirred up and cloudy now with changing everything. Got some socks on there to help filter any of the big stuff I might have knocked in or. Fish tank. Just fed the fish. I didn't feed them this morning, so I gave them some feed now. Hopefully, they're gonna be just fine. And my sump tank. Everything going back again in it. So I'll get the rest of it hooked up, and then show you what that looks like when I get a little further further done. Hey, right, thanks for watching. Hey, well, welcome back. I got the 
bile swirl filter all completed, plumbed in. Everything seems to be running good. And everything plumbed in. Show you the inside here. So it's coming down there. You don't have to play with the the rate of flow there, but I like to circulate my fish tank water in there as often as possible, but got to work with that to see how much speed and how the solids are settling down. And there's the over outflow pipe. So that seems to be working good. Now the bottom down here just got two valves. I'll open those up when the solids kind of when I see some down in there build up and open those up and those drain over into here goes into my solids tank here. So I'm happy with it so far. Now the water comes out of that, comes over here. This is my heater tank. So these these lines here, they come from the uh, solar water heater up here. So the water's kept. It's a closed closed loop system. So fish water doesn't go in there, but. Uh, this transfers the heat into this tank here. Now I got some paint socks on on those to catch anything that was missed in the swirl filter. So those are pretty clean. I'll have to monitor those. Now one thing if you're doing something like this with uh, socks so they don't get plugged up, if you had a lot of solids come in here, those could get plugged up and stop your water flow. So I've got these fittings on here, so if those get plugged up, the water will just overflow and run into here, and that wouldn't uh, overflow out of the tank. And I've just got some old pipe fittings down there as weights to hold the coil in there. And that water comes over here. This is the first bio tank. And this one I experimented with the uh, shavings from PVC pipe to act as the biomedia. So you can see it's uh, discolored there. That's where the bacteria, beneficial bacteria is growing on that. So it's working. I've got some other mesh like that in there. Um, problem with this, it's so fine it can uh, go through the pipes and go to the next tank and get over to the pump tank. So I have to make sure that doesn't happen there. And I finally spent some money and bought, uh, and bought these. And those work. You can see the those were white. So now they are got the bacteria growing in there like it should. So those ones seem to be working pretty good. And then that runs over to my pump tank. So this would be the sump in, in line, and that pumps out from there, comes over here into my first fish tank, goes through there, goes through the oxygen injector, which is up here. Air is induced into there, and it's mixed with the water, and that's what's coming out of the line down here, the water coming in, so you can see how much air flows through there. Then I've just got a backup uh, air stone over here too. But fish seem to be pretty happy. So it seems to be working all good. I'll be glad when the winter's over, but nice day like this, it warms up in here really nice. And between the solar hot water heater and the rocket stove, it keeps the water 65 to 75 so fish are pretty happy with that so well next project's going to be uh, 
building the racks for the grow towers. So I've got one up there. Build another one and then uh, start cutting my grow towers and designing those. And then I'll have to paint the back side of that tank so it'll get algae grown in there. Okay, well thanks for watching and if you have any comments, let me know and uh, subscribe if you would. I appreciate that and uh, we'll see you in the next video. Thank you.